If you're looking for a new way to work on your flams and you clicked on the right video because this is the variation for the single flammed mill. Remember to like and subscribe to continue improving your drumming skills with us every Tuesday. I've taught well over a thousand lessons in person and here on YouTube and I can show you too. I'm Gabriel and you are watching Drum Tip Tuesday. All right, in the beginning of this video, I played some kind of uh, craziness on the drum pad and I'm gonna spend the rest of this conversation proving to you that that was all just variations on the single flammed mill. The single flammed mill, in case you haven't heard, is just this. It's right hand flam into a right, then left right, left hand flam into a left, right left. Just that. Let's play it a couple times. All right, so how did I get from that to the thing that you heard me play just now? I chose some variations, right? I did it four times the way you just heard it just now. We'll call that its native position. A little faster. Just that, four of them. One more time. Now then, I did a variation on that. All the variations in this exercise are based on the same principle. Just gonna displace that double, it's gonna move it down the rhythm. So instead of it being on the downbeat and the E, it's now gonna be on the E and the U. Uh. So, we're starting on the right hand. One, E, and a two, E, and a three, E, and a four, E, and a. Let's play it along like this. In the exercise, we do it four times. It's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. Just like that. Three, four. Next, do it again. Gonna go to the and. So right, left, and, uh, is where the double is. Just like this. All right, once again. In time, two, three, four. Once again, two, three, four. One more time, two, three, four. Last one, you guessed it. It's the most interesting one though, goes over the beat. It's the uh and then the down beat. It goes like this. One E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a. Uh. Right? Let's do it again. With this, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. But in the beginning of this thing, I played a long sequence. We didn't stop. So you play it without stopping, right? And here's what that sounds like. Native position and three variations making four bars of music that we're about to play. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, once again.
Now, you say, well, it sounded like I played more than that. Like I was going hand to hand more often when I played that exercise. Truth of the matter is, I did do that. So, we'll do them now twice. Two times through each one. When you're switching these things more often, you gotta be a little bit more on top of it. You gotta be a little sharper, all right? You gotta think. It's easy in principle, easy in concept, can be hard to do it right away. So don't be discouraged when you try it, you mess it up, it's all right. Here's what it sounds like, the twos. Two, three, four. Two, Just like that. Two, three, four. Whoop. Three, four. And I'll always play the downbeat from now on. I think I left that out the first time. One more time. Three, four. One more time, just so we get it, know what we're doing here. Okay, that would be the twos. An interesting thing happens when we play it once. You could do it four times each, you could do it twice, and you could do it once. That exercise at the top had me doing it all of those ways, and that's how I get so much music out of it. So they all go off the one hand. They're all gonna be off the right hand now. So check it out. So you can have that double here, right? Uh, or all the doubles are off the right hand. So I guess you play actually a left hand, uh, the, the left hand version of it, when you play it on the E and the AND, then back to the right hand when you play it on the and, back to the left when you play it on the uh. Did you catch all that? The double is always going to be on the right hand. Watch, when you play it on the downbeat, one, e, and uh. Left hand, two, e, and uh. Right hand, three, e, and uh. Left hand, Four, E, and a uh, one. So beats one and three start with the right, beats two and four start with the left. That puts all the doubles on the right hand. Check it out. One, E, and a uh, two, E, and a uh, three, E, and a uh, four, E, and a uh, one. One more time. One, E, and a uh, two, E, and a uh, three, E, and a uh, four, E, and a uh, one. With a met, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One time, three, four. Okay, so we have the fours, the twos, and the ones. Now we need a way to smash those all together. Here's what's gonna happen. Up until now, it's not a problem when you take that double and you move it down the line. When you move it from the downbeat to the E, to the AND, to the A. Uh. It's always 1 16th note further. There's no conflict of interest as far as smashing them together. However, when you take it back from the end of the bar, the A, uh, back to the downbeat, you're gonna come up with a triple right, okay? And it's not a problem because the single flam mill has the same thing in common with the flam tap. In other words, it floats. When you play flam taps, they just float real nice. It's easy to play those. Same thing with a single flam mill. As opposed to like inverted flam taps, watch this. 
You have to concentrate, it's a little harder, you gotta pull out. Not bad, but watch, compared to the flam tap. When you play a single flam mill starting on the uh, back to the beginning, you're gonna get not a big deal. It's just flam, right, right. In other words, right-handed flam, right, right. This. You could do this all day. All right. Just flam into it. All right. But you're only going to play it once. You don't have to play it a bunch of times. I was just demonstrating it. So where it lies in the rhythm is this. Four E and a one E. Four E and a one E. All right. So that's what is going to allow us to go from the fours to the twos and from the twos to do the twos again because we're going to do the twos twice from the twos to the ones and from the ones to three more repetitions of the ones making that four times we go through the ones and then back to the top of the exercise so we play those fours once we play the twos twice play the ones four times, which means there's four bars to every part of this exercise. Let's play the ones for a minute so we can get used to playing that triple right because it occurs more often there. Just watch. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and real slow. One E, da, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E. If we were going on, right? When you play it four times in a row and stop on the downbeat, it's gonna sound like this. Two and a, three E and a, four E and a, Once again. Now doing from the twos. Let's do the twos twice. All right, remember how the twos go? Three, four. There it is. That's where the ones would begin, right? Let's do the twos twice again. One, two, three, four. Right, right, right. From the top, four, two, one. Doing the fours once, twos twice, the ones four times. One, two, three, four. That's how you get this.
And if you want to develop superior hand technique, then click the link below this video to get Hands, my free ebook, which contains my best three exercises for developing fast, clean drumming. And remember to like, subscribe, and watch one of these videos next.